Hi to Redeem from Pimlico and to Intense Case Legal and the Central Zone Crew down by law. It is now time for a superstar. to the CZ crew, uh, also MC Case Legal and MC Entire's old time listeners, definitely, definitely. Central Zone to MC with Dave and MC Entire. You're enjoying the show? Yeah, man. Respect. You can definitely make it a week on Wednesday to the Ultramanetics MC's jam. Yeah, definitely. You are now tuned in to the real deal. We're coming off the ground. 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 We
That was Underground by Central Zone. And we got the myth, the man, and the legend, Red MC, in the house tonight. Red, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here, Pete. All right. It, it might be rough, folks. You know, we got the legend across seas live all the way over in the UK. Red, you want to do an introduction for yourself? Yeah, it's Red MC from London, 86 veteran. Just on your show, man. Thanks for inviting me. Nah, it's all good, man. I enjoy you you being able to take out the time to be on the show and all that. Man, I was kind of afraid that we weren't going to get all the mics right and all that. I mean, I don't think many radio shows have done um, interviews over the internet like this before. Let's start somewhere. Oh, yeah, that, that's true. Always got to start somewhere. So, uh, Red, you've been rapping since way back in 1986. Now, why don't you tell, tell everybody how you got into the mix? You know what I'm saying? I met my um, I remember Central Zone through school. I used to walk home after school with the NT. He introduced me to Case. Uh, Case ended up being a uh, Gemini mixer and a couple of techniques uh, mixers, and the turntables rather. Uh, we started doing demos in each other's homes. That's, that's real. That's, that's real, man. So, uh, h- how did you get your stage name? Uh, well, we're trying to think of uh, stage names by uh, kind of area we're from. First, we, we said SW1, and we thought, uh, there's a pop group called E17s. So that we be called Central Line because uh, we live in Pimlico, Victoria, that's the area. And then uh, Pace came up with the name Central Zone, so we put the lights in the start. All right, but what, what about y- your own stage name, Red? Oh, Red, well, because in the early 80s, we had quite old school names. So EMT was called Entice, I was called Redeem. Pace was called Pace Legal back in the days. So, because we shortened each other's names, the names were red for a long time, so it kind of stuck. So, at what age did you uh, get to London? Well, I was born in London. My, my parents are uh, Portuguese uh, ancestry. Uh, they came over, uh, obviously, before I was born. Yeah. And, yeah. I was born up in London, so I was really British. So, Growing up in London, like, how were the streets back then, you know? Um, from a school friend called Robert Bonger in my class, um, he was tapping a beat with his ruler on the desk. This is a true story. Yeah. And bas- yeah. basically, he was tapping out Panic Rock. So I asked him, what, what, you know, what's that you're playing there? He goes, this is Panic Rock. And I said, what's that? He said, well, it's hip hop. So he suggested I listen to the Mike Allen Show, which was an old um, radio station back in the days. Uh, yeah. Old radio yeah. DJ. I started listening to the show and I got hooked. Hip hop was popular in the U.S. at the time, back in the day. Was it as popular as it was in the U.S. over in the U.K. when it was coming out? Well, I mean, back in the 80s, we, we picked up everything you guys picked up. You know, we were listening to Fat Boys, um, Grandmaster Flash, and Furious Five, all that stuff back in the days. So, yeah, it influenced yeah. us too. I mean, we, we developed our own sound. Um, much more underground. And in the end, it was called Brick Ball. So, we had our own style of running. So, was, was hip hop in the UK as controversial as in the US at the time? Um, I mean, I would say controversial. Uh, it was more underground. Oh, more underground, and that—that's probably where you guys got your your title song "Underground" from. Yeah, well, you know, we try and stay underground. Uh, again, that's another story. Why? Why we want to stay underground? Basically, you want to keep it real. You didn't want to sell your soul out to the industry, right? Yeah, I mean. We met people through the industry, and they did try, I mean, we hooked up with another group called SWS, and uh, we yeah. used their studio, yeah. and we recorded a couple of tracks, opinionated opinions, and exercised the lyrics. We never released those tracks because they kept the original deck copy. Yeah. To write the songs, make my music, moments. So we weren't, we weren't having that really, so we actually bought out with a public recording. Time, so it was yeah, man, that that it that does sound pretty disappointing because opinionated opinions was a pretty good track. Yeah, I mean we were happy with that track. I produced opinionated opinions, and uh, Ace produced exercise and lyric with a nice jazzy feel to it. Ah, uh, does yeah, opinionated opinions use any samples? Like, yeah. Oh, do you want me to give away samples? I mean that's a no-no usually in the hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> keep keep the secret, man. No, I can tell you, man. I, the 
playing a song from the Kenny Lane Opinions is Monkey's track. But don't ask me what the name of the track is now because I can't remember it. It's just a tiny snippet. <laughs> So, uh, what what exactly attracted you to the hip hop culture? I mean, it started off back in school when your friend was tapping the beat, you know. But what what made you find the love for hip hop music? I don't know, man. It just it just it just grabbed me. At what age did you exactly start writing lyrics? Sixteen, nineteen eighty six. That's why I put myself the eighty six level. 85 is when I got started with Central Zone Crew. Back in 1986, do you ever remember the first rhyme that you ever wrote, like what your first song was called? <laughs> no, no, I can't remember. Um, I think it might have been On the Red Tip, something silly like that. <laughs> on the Red Tip. No, that's, that's pretty fresh. That definitely has an old school sound into it for sure, though. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you, you might be too young to know this, or maybe you do know this. But back in the days, we yeah. used to. You see the pause tapes. Nah, I never heard of it. I heard of cassette tapes, but... What it is, it is it's cassette tapes. It's two, um, two, it, two tape decks on a, you know, a hi-fi. Yeah. yeah. Play, play the music on one side, record it on the second side, and then uh -huh. rewind, then loop it, rewind it, so it's looping the track. When I first started doing hip-hop music, I was recording off a cassette tape recorder, you know, and I think I actually had, you know, you had the A side and you had the B side, so when I filled up all the A side, I flipped the tape over and record on the B side. Yeah, it's kind of similar, but when you're using pause tapes, you're stopping the winding of which the first tape went back. Yeah, it, it kind of sounds like a DJ kind of technique, you know? It's an early technique, and it's all the equipment I had in those days. So I made a couple of mixtapes with that, but I wouldn't be brave enough to play them now. <laughs> but, but do you still have them? Yeah, they're somewhere in, the, in my loft. <laughs> like, how would you write your lyrics? Like, there's tons of techniques that artists write their lyrics. Some freestyle write, some think and actually brainstorm or write and do a couple of drafts. I mean, usually when I get down, I just write. It just comes automatically to the mi mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When I was younger, 16 and upwards, really, um, I found it harder to write. And most of it was ideas that came into my head and making notes and then putting it all together and making it rhyme and making the track. Yeah. yeah. Right, as I get older... It's easier to write. I listen to a beat and start writing. writing. It's, it's, it's strange, yeah. Yeah, it just comes more naturally after constant practice, you know? It seems to. I don't know. It seems to me. It seems to come with age. I find it easier to write now. I mean, if you listen to your track, The General, you definitely have some actually knowledgeable lyrics in that, mentioning some pretty big names and just like actually kind of like spitting some history throughout the song. I forget some of the relations you make, but they're, they're pretty damn good, if you ask me. Yeah, I know, too. I know that's one of your favorite tracks. <laughs> and, and, and your production style is very unique, too. It has a very underground feel to it, but the pieces that you use to put together the beats are very... They're, they're very soothing, and they sound very elegant, like such as The World Today, and again, with the general, with the classical music pieces that you use. My music is quite, um, yeah, musical, basically. Yeah, it's... it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's it's good. it's good. You say that you produced Hook It? Yeah. Hook It was, was my main production, and the, the scratching at the end was uh, Case Logic. Um, Underground, we kind of both chipped in with that. Uh, so we kind of, with Central Zone, we, we, as a group, we did produce together. Planet Rock was the tune that got me into the whole thing. Um, I just, I mean, it was amazing. Africa Bambata was the first artist I ever really heard. Um, and yeah. Yeah. listening to him, I, I, obviously the Mike Allen show at the time, uh, I, I listened to the older stuff, as I said, like Grandmaster Flash and Benny Mel, uh, all, all the old uh, 80s hip hop stuff. I mean, Houdini, UTFO, I started getting into a lot of the New York side of hip hop. The classic. Yeah. I, I know you really like that East Coast sound because all the beats you're producing, Red Tune is producing. Um, my upcoming EP called the East Coast EP, and it's full of jazzy beats. And I, I got to say, it's some of your best productions yet. I mean, this upcoming year, 2012, surely has a lot of great, great melodies coming.